Motorsport is a hugely evolving discipline. Every year things change and engineers are constantly planning and adapting for the future. I'm joined by Michael Russell and Matthias Dank from AVL Racing to discuss how a company such as AVL prepares for the future, how it develops new ideas. So thanks for joining me, gentlemen. Um, let's start with you, Matthias. What is AVL's general core philosophy when it comes to developing for the future of motorsport? What kind of things do you guys do when it comes to developing a new product, for example? If we develop a new product, we have basically three approaches. The one is uh, from the market, which means what are the demands from our customers. Customers come with their wishes, what they want to have in future, what they need to see, what they need to simulate, what they need to test. Um, second uh, thing is what does competition do? As any natural uh, company would do, we need to keep up with competition if there is any. And the third part is the technology part. And this is where the a creative part of AVL comes out. We encourage our engineers and our people to come up with new ideas. They just see something they work with and have an idea, I, I could do something differently. Not knowing that this could become a product, but that is, that, is, that is the spark of creativity that creates the revolution. And then we try to follow up on that. Okay, you have an idea. What could we do with that? What could we do differently? This new product needs to do something differently. Otherwise, it would not be new. Um, and then we just go into it and, and try to figure out if there is an added value to it. There will be cost implied. Uh, using something new, using something differently, um, and there needs to be an added value. And if the value is higher than the cost, then we go for the new product. So brake testing is one of these examples. We did our own brake system, which was completely new, but we had no idea what what this thing actually could do. And and now zooming in where we are today, uh, we this idea sparked out a brake model. Uh, that runs on artificial intelligence and uh, methods used out of big data to predict brake wear and brake grip. And as of today, we're using this as, an, uh, as a model included in the control systems for brake by wire. And Michael, how have you had to change the sort of approach over time as technology has evolved? Uh, definitely. So a good example would be battery development uh, before Curse came up, uh, where traditionally uh, we would design pistons and conrods and crankshafts and cylinder heads and make them flow. Uh, and uh, racing was always like feeding into the automotive uh, part of our company. Whilst when we were approached to do the ideal battery for uh, Kurs, uh, it was the other way around. So we gathered around 45 uh, people globally in AVL that were battery experts to understand uh, the cooling situations, the uh, stability situations, the safety aspects of that. So that was basically the first time when <coughs> uh, we could we could uh, gain help from uh, the other part of our our company. And just one for both of you: where do you both perhaps see the future of motorsport coming? There's greater electrification. Uh, there's the dawn of autonomous racing as well. What other things do you expect to see from motorsport in the future? Well, motorsport was always a proving ground for new technology uh, because it's a safe environment and a sort of safe environment. The drivers m might argue with that, but uh, and I think it can continue like that. Uh, there's mobility solutions of the future. Uh, I'm not a big electric fan, but uh, there's, there's a, a bit of electrification is very good on hybrid solutions to make cars autonomous. I'm, s I'm, I'm convinced that part of these mobility solutions need to find themselves in, in motor racing. We need to build platforms for that. Um, that could be autonomous elements and I don't want to see really a car driving around without a driver, uh, but a virtual safety car uh, situation at the moment could be replaced by an autonomous drive or the pit stop can be done fully autonomous. So I would love to see these sort of elements uh, coming into our sport. As Michael already stated, motorsports is a good proving ground for new technologies. And even if uh, the technology used in motorsports might not end up per se uh, in road cars, all the methods uh, that we learn around motorsports on how do we develop cars, how would we develop hybrid cars, batteries, even if the battery doesn't end up in a road car, the methods how we develop the battery are very relevant for the industry. So uh, I don't think that every racing league will be the same. 
none have ever been the same. We have seen diesels racing, now they're gone again because they're no longer so road relevant. Now it's about electric cars because we want to see them compete, what we will buy in future. Uh, fuel cell might be another one. If, if fuel cell might become a technology for road cars, for sure we will race them too.